Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Secrets turn to back. Clockwork. Some pretty spectacular IO plays. Game number two. I said game number one. Really good IO. Really good Necrophos. Game number two. It was um, uh, well, it, a very good mid one uh, Terra Blade. And now game number three, we're already into it. And Io's going to be banned out, like we were saying, might happen. But also the Nyx Assassin. Yapsor played a phenomenal Nyx that last one. There were a few missed stunts here or there, but that just happens with the hero. Um, Steven, my co caster, Aos and Dota, how you doing, my man? I'm doing great. This is the classic uh, secret response to the Nature's Prophet. They picked the Spirit Breaker as well as the Zeus. Uh, I think this is like the third time it's happened. Yeah, they really like having Japs around this hero. Um, they give him a lot of space to farm, and usually he does a very good job at keeping up with just bolting all over the place and finding wards to deward. It's a... Uh... A big economic type of strategy. You know, he ends up saving a lot of money on not having to buy sentries and then also farms up on the on the Zeus quite a bit, providing a lot of damage. He actually picks up his Agnum Scepter relatively quickly uh, every game he plays with. Dire team back. Secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Well, kind of hard to tell Five so far. I mean, both sides, back. if you look at it, have that global potential, right? Clockwork. Not exactly global, but has a very long range, can set up for the team, Nation's Profit, and just swoop on in, back him up whenever. <sighs> so we'll just have to see how, how they follow up with this uh, this kind of setup. Spirit Breaker, not exactly the greatest setup. You know, you can kind of see it coming sometimes, unless you manage to pick up a, a Shadow Blade. But I don't think that is going to be the case. I think Puppy always ends up buying just like casual buckler here and there and remaining. maybe go into a glimmer cave for example five seconds remaining for the buckler Dia oh just oh for the starting armor yeah i think it's like five
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. It's really hard to say. Uh, it it is the beginning of the season, but the thing that I feel like uh, Mouse Sports is like is they have the potential, like they have great potential, but for some reason they're not very consistent. Like sometimes they'll own, and sometimes they just do not look good at all. And because of that inconsistency, you know, you only get so far into a qualifier or into a tournament, and then you just get knocked out because you're not, you're unable to keep up that level of play right yeah and i think that we saw that in the last game too they they kind of their biggest strength is also also their biggest weakness that they get excited and build momentum throughout a tournament and they build momentum throughout a series uh but likewise when they start to do that maybe you don't make the absolutely optimal decisions and uh you get caught up in the the moment too much that you don't like you lose that objective view uh, and I think back to that game number two where they were pushing down that bottom lane with Aegis. And obviously, from our point of view, you know, we can be objective because we're just looking at the situation in front of us and we see the best move here, just keep on moving down and take that tier two tower and then come and defend. But for them, they're like, let's keep going. Let's keep finding those kills. Let's keep dominating them. And it, it turned backs around in a flash. Yeah, you can't get too excited. Otherwise, it clouds your judgment. And it's, I mean, obviously, you'll never know what's actually happening but that's what it kind of looks like Ooh, we got the mid one ember spirit an immediate monkey king pickup I, I think they might be looking to lane this monkey king against the ember spirit perhaps ten seconds remaining five seconds remaining I, I would imagine if it's it's just you know a thing about Jingu, it makes it so that Ember can't exactly trade with you. But I'm, I mean, if that is going to be the case, I'm not exactly convinced that Monkey King is going to do that well against Ember Spirit because of the the fact that you have a Spirit Breaker sitting behind you. I think it's a little better to have a Spirit Breaker uh, with the Ember Spirit rather than the Monkey King with a Rubik, at least until for right. a couple of levels. I think if Monkey King manages to get to level two really quickly then there's really not too much you can do against the uh the heal that you get from jingu balance strike okay uh, there's a little bit of cutting out there but i think i caught the gist of what you're saying um uh -oh. i think we're okay I, I i i'm not exactly sure what's going on I think I've seen a different amount of builds coming out of uh, coming out of everyone. Everyone has a bit of preference for the most part. I think uh, I've never seen anyone max Jingu, but I have seen people take it up to level three, uh, and then they stop there, and then they start leveling. They start maxing out Boundless, and then they put a couple levels in Tree Dance. Yeah. So I, th I think it's just all preference. Yeah, I think I, I remember some people using the farming build for Monkey King, kicking a lot of points in Tree Dance or. Uh the jump forward primal spring because then you can farm with it um yeah. but i think that it's good to be able to like spam out the wave with boundless strike and get like a full heal oh but they're actually gonna switch it up flip the script it's storm spirit baby all right so this is another hero that can actually uh initiate or follow up on a clockwork so this will this will be pretty fun i mean this is not an easy storm spirit game though so i mean there is a bit of worry there Five seconds. Do you think about switching it up and putting... Uh, what's the better matchup, Puck or Ember mid? Oh, they're going back with the Terror Blade. What is happening? This is a safe lane uh, Terror Blade, then. Okay. Okay, so... I, I mean, I, I think you just put the Storm Spirit mid, then. Okay. Oh, and Thug's playing it. Um, so that's what he wants to do, too. And it's going to be a Skylark Nature's Prophet. Interesting, interesting. I, I gotta say, taking Terrorblade into this seems really scary. With, like, Thug being able to jump in there, kill off illusions. Do you, are you at all worried, or do you think they have the pieces together to make this work? I think they have 
uh, the pieces to make it work. I, I'm, I'm not too scared for this Terra Blade. I think you just itemize around it. You okay. might, you know, if you're kind of struggling, then you might pick up an early BKB. But for the most part, it's it's not exactly that easy to bring down this Terra Blade with the uh, the help from a Spear Spear Breaker as well as the Puck. Yeah. And the the overall burst damage from uh, Mouseport's side isn't exactly that impressive either. Because Mon Monkey King does a lot of damage, right? But you, if you don't have Jingu stacks, uh, it's it's not exactly that high up. And right. the rest of the heroes, you know, Rubik doesn't exactly do too much damage unless he he steals a bolt from from Zeus, for example, or has a, a nuke from Puck. You know, he needs something along the lines of that. Uh, I was looking. I was trying to figure out what was going on because I was like, the it looks frozen, and the game is actually paused right now. You see what I mean? Like, look in front of Terrorblade. Do you have like some weird visual effects? Oh yeah, when it's paused. Yeah. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. It's like they're all moving, but the background is still. Well, um, the, well basically, all the models are moving, but all of their uh, particle effects stay in place. <laughs> So the, really the glow, funny. yeah, the glow on the swords stay in place when he like yeah. move the swords around. Yeah, it's really weird. All right, game number three, getting ready to go underway as the game is resumed and players ready to play. Who do you think has this one? You said that you think they have the potential to do it. Secret. Do you think that they're going to do it? Do you think that Mouse have the capability to take down two of the favorites out of the EU region in two days? Uh, Mouse Sports definitely can do it. I mean, they've already proved it, right? They took one game already. This mm -hmm. is the, the final game of the best of three. Um, I mean, if I, if I had to put numbers on it, I'd probably put this as like 65-35. That's okay. kind of where, where it stands for me. I think that Secret's Draft is pretty pretty damn strong this game. Um, I am definitely worried for Mouse Sports. I, I, I feel like they're really going to have to make their pickoffs work out otherwise they're just going to fall behind and secret have the superior like split push farming type of game uh, lineup this game like they're definitely not going to be out farmed uh, in this yeah. matchup monkey king on the best courier in the world gotta love it um but yeah, that was kind of a cool little ward spot here as well. Normally, if they're going to try and de-ward on this cliff, they would like put it right here so that that way they can try and get that in the high ground. But unlikely to find this one. It's also hiding behind a tree and gets vision of the rune. I wonder who they're trying to spot with this. I guess they expect a clockwork to be moving back and forth. Yeah. Seems likely. Uh, he is actually going to be Heading mid to help out with the block along with Spartan. So we're going to see Spartan play something besides an Io. And it's going to be the Rubik. Certainly has and a... a and, and a Wisp. No. Played nothing but Ancient Apparition. Oh, sorry, not Wisp. Uh, ancient Apparition. He's played nothing yeah. but Ancient Apparition and Wisp. But Ancient Apparition banned out every single game, so not going to get a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Locks looking like they're going to favor Thug a little bit. It's going to be up on his hill. And the wraparound coming as the smoke is there. Can they find a gank at level one? The charge is coming through. Thug saying he wants to stand tall in this one. And now maybe next time, going to get caught in by these cogs. They've got him controlled. They got him killed, I think. Yeah, First there's... blood going to maybe next time. And maybe even as well a second one. Puppy's yeah. going to get the charge away. Well, nice little start for Mouse Sports. Unfortunately, they don't give the first blood to Thug, but maybe next time. Proving time and time again. Oh, he's going to taunt, too. This is a great taunt. Yeah. Neutral creep kills Puppy. That is a very long respawn time for him, but he'll be at least back up to full HP when he comes back to lane. 10 and 1 start, though, for Thug off of this, and it seems like they've consistently put an emphasis on having a good lane against mid one. Understandably so. I mean, it is mid one. Yeah. Has he been like one of the fastest rise to notoriety of a player? Like, I, I feel like it was suddenly everybody was like, yeah, mid one's just the best in the world. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's a few contenders for that. Yeah. It's hard to say. 
Like, if, if he doesn't have a big game, everybody is sort of shocked by it. And I think that that's still the case for a lot of other players. You have, like, your Miracle, your Abeds. Um, but I just remember, like, you know, waking up one day and everybody is like, yeah, mid one. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I, I can understand why. I, yeah. I mean, just by watching him play, you, you'll be shocked if he doesn't have a good game. Or at least yeah. doesn't show consistency. Because he is definitely up there when in, terms, in terms of consistency. Right. Well, the charge is going to go through. Skylark just going to punch him a few times on his way out. And well, now with a couple heroes brought in here, we need to be careful that they don't end up being able to wrap around on Skylark. But it's still hard to find a kill in this lane. Like, with basically no form of lockdown, with the exception of Spirit Breaker, it feels like they're going to have to win with these lanes staying fairly static. Yeah, they're just... I don't think Team Secret are going to be too worried about how this uh, laning phase goes as long as they just get their levels and don't feed. Yeah. Because right now what they're looking for is, I mean, oh, Spirit Breaker. Spartan. Very nicely done. That was the bottle. That one really hurts. Oh, wow. All right. So uh, he's going to pull the Ancients by and probably <laughs> push him back in. Oh, no, well done. Yeah, so no bottle for Ember, no regen, no capabilities for him to heal back up. And Thug is already 24-4 and four in this lane. Mid one, this is going to be a struggle for him. And now maybe next time it's just going to walk into him? He's literally just going to run into him under tower and then kill him off and then get away. Oh, man. I will... Ooh. Mid one, I'm sure, is upset. I mean, it might actually there... end up... Go for it. I was just going to say, if, if there's ever a moment that makes you want to just, like, click that disconnect button and just leave, <laughs> that would probably be it. <laughs> In a way, though, him coming back to lane with full mana and HP is like a blessing in disguise, maybe? Is that is that too far to, to guess? I think that's a pretty okay, pretty far stretch. I don't think you're ever ha happy about dying in, in lane as a mid player. Yeah. You gotta I find mean, a silver lining somewhere. If you, uh... Oh. Spartan? Uh, he's taking a couple punches. Wants to get as much value as he can from that regen rune. Yeah. Not going to be the case, though. All right. Meanwhile, Skylark will get this offlane pull here. And Ace going to have to look for the dregs of that creep wave. Hey, do you need to be careful up here, Madara, as the Spirit Breaker is wrapped around on him. There's three points up in this orb, but Madar is just going to count to four. And now he's got the lifesteal going. I don't know if Puppy can do this. In it's fact, with, with Spartan coming in, this might this might end up being a kill onto the puck if he's not careful. They do spot the Rubik. I think they can kill Madar here. All right, charge. Silence is there. He doesn't have lifesteal anymore. And, well, you're right. They do find that kill. Maybe next time. A bit too slow. He does catch Sparta. Sparta should be able to live through this, I think. Uh, he does his orb back up in a second. Uh, possibly? Okay, they turn it back around. There's the lift up. Spartan almost getting it. Oh, he kills off Sparta. Who's the real Spartan now? TP right in their face. They are going to break it. So maybe a bit too uh, bold there. The TP around mid lane, though. They're able to catch. Turn it around. Can they kill off mid one? Skylark manning up. He needs one more hit. Oh, it's not bottle. enough. He needs to get it. Oh, the bottle keeps him alive. The tree. It's not going to be able to finish it off in mid one. Kills off the storm spirit and stays alive. The rocket flare. Oh, no. oh they got oh, it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to explain a, a second pub moment that you'll have as a mid player when that <laughs> happens. You're going to be so happy that you turned around that gank and you're gonna, probably going to throw out all these expletives saying, you know, nice try guys or whatever, putting it nicely. And then yeah. you get rocketed and you're like, all right, I want to disconnect again. Nice silence there as well from oh, Sparta. Bottom lane. They're going to get another one? They caught out. Uh, all right, they caught Ace. But not going to be in time. So they did end up having enough up top as well to kill off the uh, the Monkey King. It was a really good silence coming from the Puck, so they couldn't get the Boundless Strike off to turn the gank. Uh, but also the Puppy and Yapsor rotations made that work out. So 5-5, five to five, ganks going across the map. 
Net worth lead, maybe a little bit into the favor of Secret with the experience at least. Um, but we can see that the Monkey King is kind of struggling a little bit here. Uh, I think you're actually okay with that. He's struggling, but it's not that bad. I okay. think the most important thing is that your uh, Storm Spirit has a really good time. Oh, Madara's getting chased again, and now they drop the Dream Coil for it. Ace is here. He gets silenced again, not able to Boundless Strike, and gonna be killed off. Man, they have been owning him up top. All right, maybe maybe now is an issue. You know, <laughs> it, it, before before it wasn't that bad, right? He was actually having a decent decent time, but uh oh, maybe next time he's gonna need some help. Yeah, puppy, they show Spartan up. Spartan, he's not gonna be able to do it. They lose their Clockwork. Skylark shows oh, up, but no. this is not what okay, you want to see. But okay, with the absurd there, they can make it happen. Here. Double damage here. Can they kill off Ace? They've got the damage, chasing him down. Sunder is up though, like you said before, but they get the lift. They actually break oh, Puppy's charge as well from it. All right, Spartan making the plays that they need him to. Another kill here, gonna go on a Puppy most likely. Triple kill for Thug at just under eight minutes. Never underestimate the uh, double damage Storm Spirit. That is a very scary opponent to have. Farm up the stack really quickly, and Dara gonna be staying in the jungle. Yeah. Wait, does oh no, mid one just bought some small items right now, so gonna be going for the Iron Talon. I think I see him do this quite a, quite quite often actually. Yeah. Well, I think it's just because he's always getting like ganked in this lane over and over again. He's got to go for the Iron Talon to catch back up. Um. Well, it's not only that. I feel like he actually prefers this item when it comes to just farming faster overall. Like, even regardless okay. of how his game is going, I think he just likes this item in terms of uh, efficiency. Yeah. Oh, and he's going to be able to use it there, finish off this centaur. As far as bottom, we've got Yapsor and Puppy, the dual support combo that keeps on kind of... They need a lot. Uh, like... Yapsor does have arcanes at this point and got his level six, so they can start to make some more of these global ganks work into their favor. And that's going to allow Puppy to get the Tome all to himself to get his level six. Yeah, this uh, level six pickup on Yapsor is gonna, definitely going to be helping a lot, especially since it's like nine minutes in, so he's doing very well as a four support, yeah. getting a lot for himself. And there's a, a lot of setup on the map as well. You know, you can set up with the Ember Spirit as well as the. Puck. Yeah. And I think he bought a Stone as well, so we're gonna have to wait and see where he decides to go with this. Oh, nice jaunt away. The Dream Coil to turn this, and Madara. Well, maybe bit off more than he could chew, but they get the lift up onto Puppy, and he is gonna pay for this one. So they do manage to find that kill, but now they've showed up as well with the Absor. There's the catch, but able to tango his way out. Actually, Quelling Blade Zeus. Not often seen, but much needed in this instance. I think Quelling Blade is. Uh, pretty valuable on this use, not only because of oh coil. Whoa! Sparta. Okay. Oh! All right. Where's the clockwork? Where are you at, buddy? Nah, he's not gonna get it. He does see Ace though, and they don't see him. Although now with Ember in the area, they're gonna have to back out. All right. Very nice engagement from Mouseworks. Some great plays from Spartan stealing back. Or uh, lifting Spirit Breaker constantly, never letting him charge in. No. Not enough mana right now for a lift either. And with everybody from Secret up here already, it might be time to start putting the hurt to uh, Mouse a little bit. Bottom tower is under attack. I mean, if Spartan's able to hold this top lane, that's pretty freaking good for him. The rest of them are sort of moving around the map. He's Char actually got his uh, Dream Coil up very very soon. Mid lane, though. He's charging mid lane. I mean, this is not going to connect. Yeah. They cancel it. Force out some cogs. But likewise, it's going to be Ace. Pop in the Metamorphosis. And now, trying to take down that tower. Storm Spirit in the bottom lane was able to put some work in as well. Took down that bottom tower. They end up killing off one. Spartan actually dies under a tower with a little bit of help from Sparta. And the tower falls mid as well. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Still my worry is the Storm Spirit who has a double damage bottle then ready to party. Yeah, and he's 
getting very close to Bloodstone right now. Because he's... What is that? About a thousand... Five hundred gold away? Yeah. Wait, I can't do math. No, he's like... <laughs> he's like 600 gold away. Spartan ends up turning it back around. Solo kills the puck. What? He and then denies the, the tower. This is why you need the chat wheel, because... Okay, what he did was he he fade bolted him, he lifted him, he coiled him, and then he stole a illusory orb and then killed him with that. Oh, okay. Radiance top tower is under attack. Madara is gonna have to go for a hood of defiance as his first item. Not gonna have too much damage. Mid one's remnant is about to wear off. He could be in trouble here. They oh, charge one. Okay, no, they break the trees. Now the hook shot. Not gonna be able to catch it. There's the turnaround. He actually is gonna life steal from it, but not enough. Puppy going to die, most likely. They end up finding that kill mid one. Still no remnant out. He might be in trouble as well. He's going to get oh, chased. That one's going to hit. It's almost going to kill Sparta. He's going to be able to keep them back. That might have been able to find something there. But mid one gets away for the moment. And now the rest of Mouse is going to have to run away. I thought Thug was going to chase. Or there's going to be a flare, but it doesn't end up happening. I didn't see what canceled Thug's... Uh... Regen, but I think if the regen continued to move uh, or continued to go, he prob they probably would have continued chasing. Yeah. Alright, what do we have here? So, point booster, vitality booster, he just needs the bloodstone recipe now. When that comes up, what do you think the goal of Mouse is going to be? Where What are they going to start to be looking for? Is it like... Just running around with clockwork, finding pickoffs. Yeah, I think I think they want to commit to just fighting all the time with this kind of a lineup. The moment Thug finishes his Bloodstone, I, I think it's the signal to just uh, move around the map and make things happen. Okay. Skylark, he's also going for an Orchid this game. And it's going to be mid one going for the glass cannon -y build. Has a Radiance queued up. Are you concerned at all about this? Because they are going to have Orchids eventually, I'm assuming. I think the thing about the Radiance getting queued up is, is that it's so far away, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just queued up for the sake of being queued up. He can okay. always change his mind uh, accordingly. So. Okay. Oh man, if they could find mid one here. I think he knows what's going on. He's over here by the hard camp though. They're looking to find somebody. They're not going to get an easy pick it looks like. And instead they might have to settle for oh, something else. Them here. It's very close. I mean, they've got to know that something's going on, right? Like, the lane's pushing out. They're backing away from their jungle. I think Secret's very aware. I mean, this might be one of those moments where Yapsor feels like it's necessary to uh, throw out the ulti just to see where they are. But I think I think they're onto them, like you said. Yeah. Gonna play it patiently. They're gonna smoke out themselves. Actually. They do have a scan if they want to use it, and they're gonna run oh, into gonna Thug. So they, they do have vision. Ward. They do have vision though with this ward here, and they see that this ward. Uh, they see Madara. Uh -oh. Now it's gonna break. Madara sees them. And it looks like everybody else is just going to try and run away. Storm Spirit probably going to try and TP out. They should realize that he's here. Mid lane? Are they are they going for this? Maybe next time throws out a flare. Can he solo ace? No, not at all. Okay. I don't think the damage is there. You just have a bloodstone. It's actually so good for Maus that it was Madara who goes down there and not Thug. I think it was just yeah. a split second earlier. Thug would have been the one underneath the ward. But... He is walking through the ward again anyways. Uh-oh, Thug. What you doing, buddy? All right, Skylark shows up. There's the reveal of the Orchid. They turn on to Ace. Do they have the damage? Mid one's there too. They need to get the hell out of here. And they're gonna end up losing another. So the timing when Mouse would really like to move around and make stuff happen. They are not really getting it done. 11 to 11, secret. Just better map movement. Yeah, and that was... The first time the Orchid was revealed and it amounted to nothing. That was a bit of miscommunication from Mouse Sports, in my opinion. I think they really, really need to start grouping up and finding these pickoffs. 
Or at least forcing Secret to fight them as a 5v5 rather than just getting picked off. Oh, Spartan getting charged right now. See if he's going to be able to cancel it. Yeah, yeah he's got the lift. He steals charge and <laughs> going to head off on his way. The best looking uh, charge. It looks so clowny. <laughs> Well, the other thing that Mouse does have for them is a good amount of... They, they really don't realize that this ward is here. That is that is hurting. Like, knowing where Thug is this entire time, I feel like is so good for Secret. Yeah, it's only a matter of time until he gets picked off. Either that or they use that information to pick off his teammates. Yeah. Silence there, onto him. He does get the Dream Coil rooted as well. Needs to get out. Not gonna happen. Thug goes down. Yeah, that ain't good. It ain't good. That ward placed by Puppy. It, it makes all the difference in the world. And look at this. You think mid one cares about a uh, Orchid? He's nah, just farming man. away. He's top net worth all of a sudden and well on track for Radiant. And Hook shot in. They do break it. They're going to catch on to Spartan, and it looks like maybe Ace is going to go down as well. So they do find that kill at least, starting to build back the Bloodstone charges. Sparta out of mana, as well as Puppy. But they can't do anything. The worry of mid one is just too strong. Instead, it's a charge on a Monkey King. And he doesn't have vision of this. He spots him now. He's going to have to Boundless Strike and then run away. All right, that was a pretty good trade for Mouse Swords. You trade off the Rubik for a Terrorblade kill, and I think like they should definitely just heal up and keep up this kind of uh, aggression. All right, they're going for a smoke again, so this is what I like to see. Yeah. Of course, an Orchid down bottom here would be good to use on the Ember, but they're charging him instead, and yeah, this is. This is looking like it could be tough. They do spot him now, so they see Spirit Breaker coming in. Instead, it's a gank on the mid lane. They're going on to Ace instead. This is a good play. They know that nobody else is going to be there. Looking for the Sunder, not going to happen. And bottom lane, they will be able to find the kill on the Skylark. But you take that trade for your Terrorblade every day of the week. Yeah, that's a really good point. I still, I, I just like kind of wonder if it was possible for them to uh, back up the back up Skylark in time, so that they bait him and instead of going for the Terra Blade, you actually get a Spear Breaker and Ember Spirit on top of that. Because right. I feel like if you can stop mid one from finishing his Radiance, I mean that's gonna slow him down dramatically. And he's almost there. It will be a long timing before he's able to pick up a defensive item, but if he's able to stay alive with that Radiance. He's just going to be a monster late game. All right. I still think you're not too worried about the silences. I think the Radiance pickup is going to pay off. Okay. Because his, his team is definitely going to be able to uh, protect them. Yeah. For the most part, at least. Barring some unforeseen circumstances. Uh, regen storm and looking for ember they know it's the real one he's gonna end up running it away and they can't quite catch him and again this war just giving all the vision in the world Excellent. they got another one down as well <laughs> they got another one <laughs> yeah they i don't know like do you think you need to invest in a gem now or something I think it's not really necessary. I, I think like the, you should definitely be aware of the fact that they definitely have their jungle warded because of right. how they've been playing around it. So you just avoid it yourself as well. Yeah. I, I, either either that or you you know move together as a unit and then you bring in sentries to try to deward the jungle. Otherwise, you shouldn't be uh, playing around in that area. Okay. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh, well, Monkey King has an Echo Saber mid lane. There was a big smoke into the mid, and they're going to be able to find Sparta with that. So, a quick and easy kill. Yapsor gets the last hit. And they want to keep giving that to him if possible, as Clockwork is going to be charged up in the top lane. 
And he should be dead here as well, I believe. They're gonna need a bash, maybe? Ember's showing up as well, but the cogs push back. Means that they won't get it. But this is the debut of the Radiance in oh, mid one. They're thinking about it. You know, I said that mouse board should be the ones who are trying to fight their way back into this game, but... Uh-oh. Well, that's really awkward. That is really awkward. Um... He has had some issues uh, recently, the, the Rubik getting disconnected. Um, there were a couple of games in the PGL EU qualifiers uh, that happened yesterday and the day before, and he kept on having internet issues, Spartan. That's got to be so frustrating, having to play officials with these kind of issues. Yeah. Particularly on a player, uh, a hero like Rubik, and I guess Io from the last game as well. They had said that they were trying to look into solutions to solve the internet issues, but um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So this charge in towards mid, how do you feel about that? <laughs> what, 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 what do you think is going to happen here? Because they definitely see him. They for sure see him. Trying to... Oh, wait, well, yeah, I, I see it. No, I changed my hotkey, so I can't actually turn off the uh, fog. But yeah, okay. they definitely see him. He's just going to zip away. And... Once he zips away, he's going to realize, okay, the charge isn't meant for me, and Madara is going to probably leap towards the shrine area after picking up this arcane rune. And as far as vision that Mouse have, they don't see really that much else. They see that this lane is pushed in by the tower with the treants. They also spot Zeus. Do you think that they are contemplating trying to turn around on Spirit Breaker? I would hope not. <laughs> Okay. There's there's no there's no Rubik and everyone is so far away that if you decide to get everyone into one spot you're gonna have a very long TP onto the shrines so though. I, I don't think there's a fight you wanna try to take. Okay. Well, back into the game now, Spartan, ready to go. Terrible is, is apparently missing. The the thing is, since it's off of a pause, you you have so much time to think about what's going to happen. Your best option is most likely to just back away for both sides. Yeah. You don't you don't really know what you know, the other team's going to be planning off of a, a pause. So, yeah, safest option just turn away. Okay. All right. Hopefully, we'll get him back into the game now. I believe that his body is underneath the ground currently. Let's see if we can see him down there. Sometimes you used to be able to like clip into under the world, but oh, really, yeah, it doesn't look like it's happening now. I remember because I, I, I was like, I had the showcase mode on a hero as he was dying, and then like I slowly just went, and then I went under the world. Um, but I don't know. I think that's the way that the game codes some things. Like when uh, when people die, they just fall underneath the toilet. <laughs> uh, and that, that's why you sometimes get like the particle effects. I'm talking out my ass, which apparently is. Something popular going on. <laughs> oh. Well, game number three. <laughs> God damn it, mid one. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, There's some. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Maybe next time he's quick on the draw. Mid, mid one is a troll, by the way. He's actually like so quiet in person, but then his online persona is just like mega trolly. <laughs> they did the the smiley face you're talking about. The just the only, bracket. It, it was only one though. Yeah. So okay. It was a legit smile. Yeah. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Okay. Fifteen to thirteen. 2,000 net worth lead for Secret right now, 6,000 towards the experience, and a very suspicious looking tree is heading south. I, I, I definitely do fear for Mouse Sports in this kind of a matchup. I, I think like, uh oh, they see him. They see who? Oh, uh, Monkey King. I mean, he, I, I think they're they're not that afraid though. Everyone's uh, sitting right here. Skylark is getting getting charged right now though. Oh, this does not look. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, big jump in though. Thug pulls him back. He's gonna be able to take down Spartan. Puppy oh, gonna probably gonna die. 
Skylark stays away. Mid one shows up. He blows up that Ember. Excuse me, Nature's Prophet. And now they're also turning onto Madara. Almost able to kill him off. They are going to be able to. The Monkey King never stood a chance. So two for two at the end of the day. The Monkey King and the Nature's Prophet for the Puck and the Spear Breaker. That was such a great play from mid one. Just recognizing that Skylark is going to be hiding in the trees. He makes it just in time to get off the uh, Sight of Fist and gets the kill on him. What looked like a disastrous engagement from Secret turn ends up turning to be a pretty decent trade for them. Yes. Oh, I thought that was on the real Terrorblade, but it wasn't. And the other thing, more Bloodstone charges for, uh, for Thug. Oh, Clockwork. He takes the DD and now nice force staff away to keep him alive. It won it. Oh my god, what the hell just oh, happened? Ah! Uh, my game! What's happening? Let's see which uh, defensive here? option he goes for here. Steven? I think you take the armor Hello? this time around, but I, I could be wrong. Steven? Hello? Are you still there? I haven't dropped any frames, but Dota is just like falling apart. Steven? This, this game's still in beta. Hello? I'm here. My my game has just like it took a crap. But you can still hear me, right? Yeah, everybody's reconnecting. I can hear you now. I couldn't. I, uh, all right, they've got themselves oh, mid one. This big, they're gonna be able to catch him. That should be the kill as well, as he is going to fall. That was a terrifying moment. I don't know what the hell just happened, but soft ten. All right, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not disable that? Uh, I try to, but it keeps on coming back. It's like the goddamn zombie apocalypse. My my updates are have been stocked up for like quite a few months now. Every time I update, it takes me, I don't know, like three hours. All right. 40 seconds. No Ember Spirit. They're getting ready to go high ground. Mouse walking forward. Madara, they're going to jump forward. Try and find one. They have the silence on the Yapsor. They can't blow him up, though. And now they got oh, control fuck. on the Storm Spirit. The turnaround. Can he get out of there? Thug is going to be able to make the escape. A good boundless strike there from Madara. Keeps his buddy alive. Everybody's dropping low. And the Puck thinking about chasing this one. But they don't want to go for the jaunt forward. He had already used Coil. They're going to back out, knowing that Ember's up soon. All right, not bad. They find the Ember kill. They convert it into uh, a couple, a couple hundred points of damage on the tower. But I mean, Ace does not have meta now, so I wonder if Mouse Wards are considering fighting again or maybe sneaking a shot. Oh, top lane though, Skylark gonna get picked off here. The strength of an Ember and a Spear Breaker together. Boots to travel in onto a creep wave and just beat some ass. Ember Spirit gonna be taking the 500 Flame Guard absorption. So magic damage is not gonna prove to be too effective, but Monkey King, he's oh no, he changed his build. He's going for Heaven's Halberd now. He was actually going for the uh, Diffusal Blade earlier. I thought he was gonna go through with that. I believe that we should be still transmitting. Let's see. Now uh, Puppy, he's level 12. We've also got, for the other levels, the level 20 on Ember. He's gone for the Flame Guard Absorption. As it looks like we're getting ready to go into the next phase of this game. I mean, is it concerning at all that, you know, your Ember Spirit ended up being picked off that, that easily in the last fight? I'm looking at chat. Is the uh, stream actually still on? I think it is. I think. Okay. All right. We're good then. Oh, that's not good. Radiant are scanning. All right. Well, we'll figure it out anyways. I'm just gonna pretend that it still is. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It should be live. It says unstable. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <that's not> <laughs> okay. So, 28 minutes in, 18 to 16. And it looks like... Secret is ready to push up here. 
The tier two tower. Ah, oh, mid one is like jumping back and forth between items. He was gonna go for Lincoln's and then decided against it. He went for the. He got the perseverance and then he is now immediately changing it back up to blacking bar. But he does almost have it. Okay. Yeah, I noticed team. that. I noticed that he was uh, almost there as. Well, it looks like. They're getting into position now. There's the lift up onto Terra Blade. Pull him back in. Oh, Monkey King is over here a tree. And they I think that they spotted it now. They realize that that's going on. Seeker <laughs> well, are just going to back away. Going to keep on farming. Might be a... Somewhat of a longer game this time around. All right. Try something else. It should still be online though. There's the catch. All right, Ember on to Spartan. He's silenced. He's killed Madara with the turnaround. Not going to be enough. But the Clockwork hook shot in pushes Sparta away. This isn't looking great for them though. But maybe if Thug can take down oh, the Ember, that might make it all worth it. They're already dealing the damage. He's silenced. Able to get the jump away. Is it going to be enough? No. The charge through mid one. Going to live take down Skylark as well. The turnaround was real. They did far too much damage, and that's going to be. Madara going down as well, most likely. Nice catch, nice oh, kill. The die. miss uphill. He's going to end up oh, dying. Sparta that. gets the finish. Beautiful combo and going to end up being a kill. In and just like that, I mean, it was like 2,000 gold net worth lead for Secret, and all of a sudden, it's. <laughs> it's a rack. It might be more. It might be a Roshan. Yeah, that was big. And, I mean, 11k net worth lead. It's exactly what you want to have happen. The puppy's going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to run away. I was just saying the puppy's getting out of there. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't believe that they are able to turn that around. It looked like for a second... I guess as soon as Spartan was down, maybe they should have backed out. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, it's hard to say. I feel like the biggest problem here is that Mouse just don't really have any damage. The only core that has farm is uh, is the Storm, but a Storm with Orchid and Bloodstone is not going to contribute enough da in terms of damage. You need damage from the uh, the other cores as well. But I mean, you look at Monkey King. Monkey King has Echo Saber, Heaven's Halberd, not exactly going to do too much. And Nature's Prophet just having Orchid Malevolent. He's kind of in the same position, you know. He's just very vulnerable. Is only able to do damage if he's untouched, but clearly not going to be the case. Yeah. Oh, mid one down bottom. BKB available now. It kind of causes them to not really be able to find a ton. And, oh, there's going to be the jump forward. They do take down the Spirit Breaker, but yeah, they're going to need... I don't know. What do they need to really kill off mid one? It feels like they need like massive disable because... Uh, you know, Orchid isn't enough anymore. Uh, I don't even think it's like disabled anymore at this point. You just need, you actually just need damage. You need the damage to threaten him because he's got 500 flame guards, so magic damage is out of the way, or out of the question. Uh, physical damage is the way to go, but Major's Prophet gonna be going for Sheep Stick, so that, that's a really good disable for him. But at the same time, Monkey King. Desolator is a good start. It'll give him a decent amount of damage. He does have to deal with Radiance Burn, uh, Evasion, though. That's the one troublesome thing. Right. And Storm is going for BKB, so his right click not exactly the greatest either. It's decent, but you're basically looking at a potential three hero commitment just to do enough damage to kill him. And he's got BKB, so. Actually, he has Lincoln already, too. He is super farmed. That's basically what we can say about it. Um, he's in his inventory, though. Is just sitting, uh, he's got a casual Lincoln sitting in his backpack. Yeah. I mean, probably want to switch that out for the... The Aquila, I would imagine. Might be worth it. Oh, dive in. They're on to... 
This Ember, can they kill him off in time? The lift is there as well. It is going to be enough. They find that kill. That's huge for Spartan. Now Puppy trying to turn, trying to kill off the Storm Spirit. Do they have enough? He pops the BKB. He's going to try and fight, but Mace, he's just going to deal so much damage. They need to get out of here. They need to run away before Ace just tears them all to shreds. And there's going to be Madara jumping through. They pop the Lincoln Spear, but Ace... Still too freaking big. No, they get the disarm. Maybe this is going to be enough. They have they the lift up. The turn is there. They get a team wipe. The last one left Wait, alive is that Zeus. And they've been able to catch him also. Oh my god. Mouse, somehow. We were just talking about how hard it is to kill Ember and that they would need at least probably like a three hero commitment. And that's exactly what was happening. A three hero commitment. It wasn't from all three cores, but I mean, you got the Nature's Prophet coming in with the silence as well as a very long zip from Thug being able to get in that, that zip damage. So they make it work. Great show in there. And now the tier three tower most likely to go down. App. The barracks here and well, I. I don't know. Now it's starting to get to that testy spot. If they can pull a string of things together like that over and over again, this game could potentially end up tilting back the other direction. I believe it, is, it, it already has. I mean, this is a dead even game now. One lane apiece. Just a 1k net worth lead. I mean, this is as even as it gets. Unfortunately for our mid one, we were talking about Lincoln Spear sitting in his backpack and he was replacing his bottle. He was using the haste room first and then switching it out for the Lincoln Spear. But unfortunately, it came out as he was getting ganked, so it was still on cooldown. And I think like if he had the Lincoln Spear at that at that time, it would have saved him because it would have given him enough time to pop his BKB, and that team fight might have been a different story entirely. Yeah. Oh, well, they're going in again, though. This could be a game changer. Pops the BKB, trying to fight this one. And he's going to be able to turn now, but Ace is on top of him already. Mid one takes down another. They're going to have to zip out, and Mouse trying to run away now. Oh, there's delay though, so we won't even be able to see Radiant are scanning. for quite some time. Um, I think that it was an issue with the Dota Star Letter server. Something weird was going on there. All right, 25 to 22, 3,000 net worth lead. The hook oh, shot jumps in, in. They're able to catch it. Ace does get the Aegis though, so they can't blow him up. And that's going to be maybe next time falling. It's a good shot, and, well, in the meantime, I don't think that Mouse can actually kill off mid one. Thug is running away. He's actually low on mana, and they're not going to be able to go for a sec around there. That was a very good attempt. They almost made, made it work. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. <sighs> Treant's trying to get the shrine, but not going to finish it off. So close to finishing it off. I mean, they'll be able to go back for another round of that soon, though, won't they? Like, you can just send in more Treants there in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, he didn't. I think he just... Oh, he did got it. Well, someone killed it. <laughs> no. There's a what? mighty suspicious tree down here. Okay. Well, Skylark now going to be charged as well. And this is a big pickoff because he's the one with the sheep stick as well as the uh, orchid. Oh, I think they're gonna cancel it. Yeah, they're canceling it. Too scary. Oh, the mouse board gonna be sitting down here. This is a very scary situation for both sides, but Team Secret at least have the Aegis to work with. 
Ace has also has the, uh, the Lincoln Sphere now. Going to be going for Scotty next. I'm kind of surprised that he's not going for BKB but, or or the uh, Hurricane. Oh, Spartan. there's the catch. Oh, going to be able to go forward. That's going to be Spartan already down. He's still Flame Guard, but already dead because of it. And now Ace turns onto another one. Skylark is going to end up falling there. Looks like he's able to jump away as well. Thug also needing to run. Ace is too large to be able to chase down and oh, over here actually to the north side skylark oh, trying to tp away tree. he is gonna make it out he lives but they monkey, monkey king, king probably not oh uh, trying to jump trying to get out of there not gonna happen that monkey king is gonna die and thug looking to try and maybe cut the creep wave as this is happening that's why you have a uh, zeus with a quelling blade in this matchup Scouted out the Monkey King and cut Dyer's the tree that he was standing on. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Thirty-nine minutes in, it's twenty-nine to two, and it looks like we should be seeing a pressure, some type of a push soon. Uh, Roche may respawn in five minutes. I'm completely unaware of what's happening in the game because I've just been trying to solve the issues with the stream. Um, it's okay. So I'm 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 kind I'm kind of on board with you. No, no, no. You want to catch? Telling... Would you like to catch all of the viewers up? We're on twitchtv slash beyond the summit two now as to what the last couple of minutes have looked like for this game. Where are we at? Secret with a ten thousand net worth lead. All right. I was uh, letting everyone know that we are now on BTS two, but. I mean, all of a sudden, Secret with that with that engagement are now right back in this game. I mean, this this game is just really comes down to initiation. Yeah. Um, like the key heroes that need to be picked off have to be picked off immediately. Otherwise, these team fights just kind of make their make make a or go the other way. I think that hero is definitely Ember Spirit for Secret side, but it's getting harder and harder to kill him off. He's got that Shiva's Guard now as well. Ooh, bottom lane puck. though, they've caught themselves that puck, and Yapsor tries to turn it with the Nimbus puck. Sparta playing this as well as he can, and he is going to be able to get out, but now can they get the turnaround? They also have Dream Coil available if they want to hit it. They're all grouped up, oh five of them boy. together. They're going to be able to find him. The Dream Coil is there as well. They try and force them out of it. It is going to be the turnaround that they need. Ace ready to hit hard. Madara is already falling low, but can they actually kill them off in time? Do they have enough damage? No. Triple kill for mid one. Maybe going to find more as that Storm Spirit out of life. He has to deny himself. Great fight I think for that Secret. Might be it. No buyback on your Storm, no buyback on your Monkey King. How do you defend? Uh, oh, they're going to go try and the jaunt ball. away with that Rubik, but to no avail, unstoppable mid one. And in spite of the delays, in spite of the problems connecting, Secret, definitely connect on this. Going to take down the Tier 4s and punch their tickets further into this tournament. Well, Storm is up in 15 seconds, and they're kind of having... Uh, some trouble deciding on what they want to get. They're going to go for both of them. They're going to take the racks as well as do the damage to the tower just in case. This is actually a very smart move here. Yeah. Because there's, there's still a, a tier two, actually. Yeah. So they can't do that other one. They're going to focus on this. Thug is going to try and come in here, but I don't know if they can do it. They do have Sunder available for Terrorblade. The Clockwork hook shot in and trying to kill them off as well. Sparta. No running out of there. They've caught two, though. And now, for sure, it's going to be over as there is no way to stop this type of pressure coming in. GG is called, and Secret gonna move on in the upper bracket, continuing their run. Oh, that was a, I mean, that was a great series though. You know, Mouse Sports, yeah. definitely the underdog here, but they, I think they put up a, a really good performance here. They, they, 